hello and welcome back to my channel if you're joining me on the day that this video is going up happy first of march happy saint david's day if you're in wales uh, my ex-husband is welsh so we used to always celebrate <laughs> there you go a little bit of trivia for you today so i am so excited to be here today participating in this humongous awesome video hop to celebrate Megan's Crafty Meggie's five year YouTube anniversary. And the reason uh, Megan chose today uh, for the video hop and the celebration was her very first video was posted on the 1st of March. So um, Megan asked so many of us and I'm very honored that she included me in this lovely list. Um, of talented scrappers uh, to be participating today. And what she wanted us to do was to select one of her layouts and scrap lift her to celebrate her scrappiness and her five years of YouTube. And um, so I went on to Instagram and I chose this lovely layout. I don't know if you can see it. Now that I'm looking at it, or after I finished actually doing the page, and I, I sort of realized that uh, this page was an eight and a half by 11. I love this kind of design, so that's one of the reasons that I chose um, this one to scrap lift. I also love the fact that it had um, a vertical um, four by six photo because I do have a few and I find that I don't scrap them enough. I'm always draw, drawn to the landscape as opposed to the portrait. So I enjoyed that this one had portrait. Um, so there you go. So let's have a look and see some of the features here. So this sort of lovely little cluster up at the top, uh, a rounded and a gold title here on the side, a little bit askew another lovely cluster down at the bottom of the photo. So really the little photo here is a little bit enclosed. Lots of gorgeous little sequins. Um, so Megan, obviously this was a Christmas um, layout that she did. Mine will not be a Christmas layout, but I stuck fairly closely. Although, as you can see, I did a 12 by 12 because at first, I don't know, I guess I was looking at it and I didn't, I didn't really think and I didn't really realize. So there you go. So it turns into a 12 by 12, but I'm quite happy with it. And I'm happy that I did do the 12 by 12 because since I moved my photo over quite a bit here, I sort of mirrored that little um, title item. So there you go. So the first thing that I did, I wanted to add uh, a little bit of extra texture here. So I took some pasties from um, Shimmer's Paints and uh, I used it through one of the Tim Holtz stencils. This is a brick stencil. So here, it's funny because I sort of think I used Cream Team, but now that I look at it, it's way too pale. Um, so I guess I must have used a little nutty a little nutty. So this is quite a chocolate brown, but you see it dried here almost, it almost gave a nice little sort of coppery um, color to the stenciling on the background. I didn't apply anything before, I just pushed it through, um, pushed it through the stencil. Now, PSA, um, these do dry up, so use them. Um, I, I mean, they do have quite a long shelf life. I would say I've had these for a couple of years and these pasties are still quite usable, but I did have a Dazzler's in a beautiful gold color that I wanted to put on here. And it was, it was just a solid, solid mass and I had only used about a quarter of it. So get in there, use your texture, pa your texture pastes, my friends. So there you go. So the first thing I did was add this uh, stenciling on the background and I used here uh, one of my secret not secret kit club mini kits uh, I think it might have been uh, my October or November and this particular mini kit was based on the bouquet collection from close to my heart so this background paper 
comes from that collection uh, that I used. And you see the other side would have been quite usable as well. It was just a beautiful, beautiful neutral. But as many of you know, I do love my teals. So I used my teals. And then uh, I layered here. These little bits here are really just two little tiny strips from Amy Tangerine Heart and Hustle um, that I angled here. And there are actually two little pieces. Um, I have this lovely paper. Let me see where this might have come from. So then I have this navy and white sort of gingham here. And the back side or the A side of that paper is this lovely floral that I used. So I used both sides of that paper uh, to do some matting here. And I believe that particular pa paper was from uh, To Be Artsy. I think that was in the mini kit as well. Uh, so I put that on the background. And then this lovely paper on the back here, um, hmm. I'm not quite sure whether it's Dear Lizzie, Pink Paisley. It was just a scrap on my desk, so it's it's one of those. Either Dear Lizzie or Pink Paisley. I think it might be Pink Paisley. So there you go for the matting. And then basically I really just went to my scrap bowls and punched out some circles, uh, did a little bit of a banner, uh, here, this was just a tiny little rectangle that I had, so I just cut a little banner. Uh, Amy Tangerine, uh, Heart and Hustle, here as well. Uh, this was a two by two uh, square that came in one of my um, Secret Not Secret Kick Love Palooza little kits, and I think I had it left over from one of the layouts I created for that. Then I have these lovely um, word phrases which are from Jen Hatfield and there was some gold there was also some lovely um, sort of mustardy yellow color and a little bit more of an orangey color but I decided to go with the gold well in particularly because I really wanted to use this word seek um, so this photo here is of Cadiz in uh, Spain it is in Andalusia uh, it's this is the city and it's also within a region called Cadiz um, and it's got these beautiful this is the old part of town and these lovely little alleyways which are obviously pedestrian because there is absolutely no way that you could get uh, a car down here although there's a stop sign there but I didn't see any kind of car scooter or anything going down down these lovely little alleys with the buildings that are quite high on the side. And I just love the perspective of this photo. I love that it's in uh, portrait mode. And it gives you the idea of way down here, there's some light, the light at the end of the tunnel, or some little hidden treasures. Hence my title, Seek Hidden Treasures. Um, here I used, um, again, the pink paisley, those lovely little alphabets. Um, from uh, one of the Paige Evans. I absolutely adore these. These are really, these I think have become my favorite small uh, letter thickers. A couple of little gold hearts uh, that came from the same word chipboard sheet uh, that the word seat came from. This is a, word, um, a wood button from a Chanel uh, collection and a lovely little flare here from Cheeky Studios, and I think it was the Midnight Flare collection. And then if you see here, so you see here I replicated the title, but I sort of just mirrored it. Uh, I did not do um, a cluster down at the bottom here like Megan did, but rather uh, I did it more at the top, sort of around and to nest the title a little bit more. Um, up here, the top cluster, I did stay fairly true, although I made these paper strips banners. I love banners. Uh, I used a flare. Uh, Megan's is maybe a little bit bigger uh, and might be some other circular um, element, but I used a flare button. Um, 
on mine. And then if you can see, she just scattered lots of sequins around all over the place. So I went in and I got a beautiful uh, pack from Spiegel Mom Scraps, of course. And this beautiful sort of orangey reddish color matched perfectly, contrasts the background. It matches uh, the flowers in this lovely paper. And there are some little, can you see this? There are some little flower sequins. I don't know whether maybe I should put that up a little bit higher to see whether you can see these little flowers. Are they not adorable? And in that same little pack, there was a couple of little navy. So I only took two of those just to have them in two little spots, three little spots, uh, actually. And then I scattered around within the title, uh, these flat uh, sequins and then the flower sequins. So there you have it. There is my scrap lift and tribute to Megan. Congratulations, Megan, on five years on YouTube. I love your channel. Um, everybody, I think, I don't know, I think there might be 50 of us participating today. It's just awesome. One of the largest video hops I've ever participated in, that's for sure. Um, and I am coming up only on my one year anniversary. So, uh, I will have all of the links below of all of my lovely scrappy friends that are participating. Of course, Megan's channel is in there as well. I'm sure you're already following her and probably the majority of my friends. But if not, please go on down there, sub to their channel, watch everybody's video, and some send some love their way. Thanks for being with me today, and I'll see you soon. Bye.